Thank you for visiting the Coin Lady channel again. Hey everyone, with all the excitement in the major currency sector, it feels like someone is making a move that could have been more exciting. Its potential impact during the current bull market is something we've discussed at length. Now, yesterday I touched on Brett briefly under the premise that it is a scam and that Brett is suffering losses, but, one major coin stands out. The current situation will be explained in detail by that. Is it a good investment? In any case, if you can't wait, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Now, let's begin. Everyone, please come back. Our starting point is a market valuation of over $50.5 billion and a trading volume of about $4.2 billion for all meme coins combined. From what do we infer any meaning? Although trading volume has remained unchanged, prices have fallen, and investors are shifting their focus to other cryptocurrencies in anticipation of the exchange-traded funds ETFs, that were recently seen in Hong Kong. In contrast, when we consider PEP's 2.5% daily volume of about $666 million. Even though PEP and Bank have been around throughout the bear market and are only now beginning to make moves in the bull market, looking at the overall trend over the past week reveals that only Bank is threatening PEP's ethos. Is there anything specific we should discuss? Just what is it that we must comprehend? Well, Pepe has become an even bigger deal for 2024 thanks to a couple of important structural factors. Coinbase, which I have already mentioned, is one of the top trending coins on Mexi, Binance, and many others. Its perpetual futures launched on April 23 and have since seen significant uptake. On that platform, we are actually seeing enormous volumes of traffic flowing through Coinbase. But here's the meat of the matter, futures are being utilized for trading. And in the end, futures are made specifically for the exchange, so you need to know what you're doing. If you're a future specialist who wants to trade Pepe and other things, you should check out the links in the description. I have one for BitGap, which offers deposit bonuses of up to $1,000, and Maxi. If Pepe isn't already on an exchange, I expect it to be soon. In the meanwhile, you should check out the other two options and sign up it's free, and offers great benefits. When it comes to the big question of when Coinbase will officially launch spot trading, a feature that everyone wants, the answer is Pepper. Many exchanges list multiple pairings, such as Nance's USDT, and the list goes on and on. It's clear that adoption is growing, as the volume is still there and significant adoption is visible on Pepper. Pepe is now listed on over 200 distinct exchanges, so keep that in mind. Therefore, not including these future sessions, is there anything else happening with Pepe? The Shiba Inu of 2024 is something I've mentioned often. There is a substantial amount of traffic flowing through both the decentralized and centralized exchanges, thanks to the strong partnership supporting it, the large number of holders, and, finally, the highly reliable Beth. Taking a glance and a picture of it is now possible. Looking at the current state of the account on Etherscan reveals that it is steadily increasing in size, with more than 211,000 holders now holding power. Your holdings on these exchanges are more crucial, one of them, Nance Wallet, included almost $643 million. Consequently, there is a great deal of liquidity sitting on these exchanges, and you will see it as you break through several of them. I see this as a test, will people buy Shiba Inu or Pepper as their first cryptocurrency? More and more people are becoming bullish, and exchanges reflect that. Pepper has been mentioned numerous times, we first saw it on Robin Hood. Since many exchanges were late to the party and listing, she knew those factors affected the price, and thus opens the door for many more. Individuals to obtain Pepper in 2021, when we observed no shortage of it. And I believe that is where Pepe differs greatly. Be sure to check out the chart for further insights. It shows that the cryptocurrency market saw a huge surge, a consolidation phase, and a subsequent push down. However, there is some intriguing things on the daily MACD, which has flipped and is currently highly optimistic. Similarly, the price movement is clinging to the 50-day simple moving average, suggesting that an upward push is about to be initiated. 
both the 1.66% increase and the rest of the major coin space are beginning to move, as can be seen on paper. Lots of people are bullish on paper price predictions, which bodes well for the market. The fact that miners aren't selling as much implies that scarce will enter the market and that people will be looking to buy into that other coin. As always, I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so please share them in the comments, I believe Pepe is in an ideal position to make the most of those possible actions. Is Pepper still a possibility for you? Given the current bull market, do you believe it flips sheep? Well, that concludes our video. Your support in the form of a like and a subscription would mean the world to me. Coming up shortly, farewell.